Hi everybody, this is Pat in the paper closet. Here's what we're making today. They are whimsical house tags. They're very much, they're very fun to make. These are the ones I've made already. That's my thumbnail. Let me get that out of the way. Mm, let me find room. So these are the ones that were on the thumbnail. Very easy to make and a lot of fun. And a great way to use up your scraps. I have a whole pile of scraps here that I've been pulling from. So these are the first four that I made. I took a piece of, um, most of it is scrapbook paper. Some of it is printed copy paper. And I cut it three by about four and a half. That gave me the card. And then I picked another paper and I cut out the roof. And then I glued that on and trimmed off the little edges. And then I decorated them. I picked out a paper for the door and the windows, the little chimney. This one I had a little number 24, I put that on there. So then I glued them on and I used a gel pen to highlight them. Now it's supposed to look whimsical, not perfect. Everything's not even. They should look crooked and lopsided and fun. Here I added a little trim under the roof with the gel pen. I did the windows with the gel pen and the doorknob. And this one, I did about the same thing. I put more windows, more upper windows, two lower windows. There's a door. I also did a little decorating under the roof. And this one, I cut it into a different shape. I curved it on the sides. They all started out the same size, three by four and a half. And then the roof, I didn't cut to a point. I just cut it in an odd shape. And the windows, I put the windows on, small windows. Cut out a door, a brown paper. And I had, um, I have a stencil of numbers, so I had stenciled 79 onto here. And, of course, I inked the edges. This one I also cut into a different shape. I rounded the outside outward instead of inward. I made a rounded door, round windows, and a lopsided roof. And here I stenciled using a gel pen. I tried my anchor, but it didn't work too well. So I just laid this on and with my gel pen, I went through the stencil and stenciled this on the roof line. And that worked out well. And that's all four of them. Now I'm in the process of a few more. These I've made, I haven't cut them out yet. I've backed them on cardstock. These are all backed on cardstock, blue cardstock. Well, food coloring ink blue. So they're all backed already. These are glued on, but I have to cut them out. These are also the same size, three by four and a half. This little roof, I had this corrugated paper that I used for the roof. Little chimney, two windows and a door and a doorknob. I did that with a white jelly roll pen. This one also, same size. The roof is like a glitter paper. I don't know if you can see the glitter on there. A little bit, maybe. And I put a little piece of lace underneath the edge of the roof. And this little one, <clears throat> this is a foiled type of paper. It's very heavy paper. Cut out the roof, put a little bit more lace under this one. Made a little door and some windows. And when I, after I cut them out, I'll decorate this one. I'll go around it with a gel pen. This highlights it a little better. So these are going to be, I'm making the whimsical junk journal. So these will all be tags that'll go in there. Um, first I'm gonna make one so you can see how it's done. 
and then I'll cut those out. So I have picked out my papers. Let's see if I can get in the spot where you can see me. I picked out this brown paper and the roof will be this color. I inked up the roof already. It's just a lopsided triangle, nothing perfect. Now I need something for the windows. On this brown, I think I'm gonna use this. I have some yellow post-it note paper. I'll cut out mm, small windows. I just cut out rectangles. Yeah, take a good guess how big you want them. Let's see, do I want them going this way? Yeah, I think so. I want these kind of the same size. Nothing has to be even. These are whimsical houses. And they're a lot of fun, mixing up all these patterns. Very addictive. Just keep going and going. So there's one window. Here's another window. Now we need a door. What color door do we want? I have a piece of this glitter paper. Uh, I have a little bit of this blue paper. Grab it. I think I like the glitter paper. I think I'll go with this. Let's see what else I have. Dark, nah, too dark, too, too neutral. A little plaid, no, we're gonna go with this one. So my door is gonna go in the middle. I want a little bit narrower than this. And about this high. Cut it out. Make it a little bit narrower. It's a little too wide. Great way to use up your scraps. Alright, that's a good door. Now we need a chimney. Uh, got a piece of this plaid. Ah, uh, that'll look funny. Skinny little piece, not too skinny. You want it to look like a chimney. That will go right there. Very good. Now we can decorate as we wish. So I'm going to glue all these pieces on. I'm going to use my Scotch glue stick. Hopefully. Mmm, maybe I'm not. It's kind of empty. <clears throat> I have a bigger one. I have this Elmer's glue stick, all-purpose glue stick. It works very well, but it's very sticky. Getting it on the paper is not easy. I'm gonna need a scrap paper here. I hate to waste anything now, but I can use it on a house. Of this. I'm just going to put some glue stick on it. See, this is very kind of stringy and thick, but it works well, it sticks well. See how it makes strings kind of like a glue gun? Now let's place that right in the middle. That'll be our door. And we'll do our window. I don't know if you can see the strings I'm making with this glue. <laughs> Ew. Very much like hot glue. It is thick, but it's good. Okay, there's one window. Especially on these little pieces. 
Alright. Yes, I got on my way. Now I'm gonna try to get this a little bit even. It doesn't have to be perfect. You want the windows to look even. Crooked. Okay, that's good. Now we'll glue the edge of the roof. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue right here. This messy glue stick. And then I'm gonna lay it a little bit down from the top. Just like that. Press it down. And our chimney. Just a little bit of glue along the bottom of the chimney. Along the bottom is gonna get glued onto the house. The rest sticks up in the air. I'm fighting with this glue. Okay. I just put a little bit on the bottom and I'll put it right about here. So there we have our chimney. And it's another house. Now you could decorate this any way you want. You could doodle on windows, doodle on the door. I'm gonna make a doorknob, just a big circle. Make it look like a doorknob. I think on the windows, I will put the little cross panels. Very good. And I think on this one, I'll do another one of those stencils. You can use anything on these. I have, what I want to try is I have some burlap. It's burlap paper. That would probably make a good house. All right, I only want this part. Like I've got it. There we go. Very cute. I like it. I like it. Okay. Oh, I'm not gonna ink this up yet. After I put the backing on it, the cardstock backing, I will ink around the edge of the whole tag. Just to give it a little color on the edges. Very good. I like that one. Very cute. I'm gonna put this one over here. Actually, I'm gonna glue it on my piece over here. And then we'll cut them all out. I see a little bit of brown sticking out over here. There. Okay, I'll put this messy glue on here. Messy glue stick. Just make sure you get all the edges. So the backing doesn't come off your tag. Back of the chimney. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. For some reason my lights are not very bright right now. I have them up as far as they'll go. And normally they're good. But I'm looking at the camera and it's not very bright. Okay, enough of that glue. Again, run it up at the bottom. Of course, I missed a little. There we go. Give it a good press. Careful not to rub off your windows and your chimney. And your roof. Just down the glue, and I'll flip it over, rub it from the back. I 
see my camera going blurry. I wonder what's going on. Hmm. All right, we'll keep going. Make sure you get all your edges pressed down good. You can kind of feel where the edges of the tag are. All right, that's good. So there we have it. And it simple as that. That's how you make them. Ugh. I had glue strings here. And I'm going to cut one of these out. I don't think I'm going to cut all of them. It will take too long. I'll do them off camera. And then I'll show you them in the next video. The scissor is too big. There we go. Should we run that better? Corrugated cardboard is very thick. I have to make sure I'm right up against it. There we go. side. Okay, I've got it all. Now I'm going to ink this one up. My ink pad. I switched back to the flat foam piece. I had a rounded one, but I didn't like that one. It wasn't giving me as much ink. A little bit around the chimney. I don't want a lot. I don't want it grungy looking. I just don't want white edges. Just curled up a little bit until that glue dries. And it'll be flat. Very cute. Okay. That's all I'm going to ink that. So we have that one. And this one. And this one. And this one. And this one. And then I have one, two big ones to cut out here. And one smaller one. The smaller ones I'm going to use on the cover of the Whimsical Junk Journal. I'm going to put three or four of them on. That'll be part of the cover. But these two will be tags. Alright. Come out very cute. They're fun to make, like I said. And it's a great way to use up your scraps. I have a whole pile of scraps here. That are tipping over and about to fall off the edge of the desk here. But, so that's four of them, plus two more to go, to cut out. And I actually have, oh, here's another one I need. I'll just show you, I'm not gonna glue it right now. This one, let's see, am I in camera? No. There we go. This will be the windows. This will be the door. And this one, I had made a ruffled ribbon out of paper long ago. And it was on, on a square piece. I just cut it into a roof shape. Kind of looks like a party hat. <laughs> Cute. 
All right, that'll work. I'll doodle on it a little bit. And I'll have that one done also. When we're working in the whimsical junk journal, you'll be seeing these tags. And I'm sure a few others. Okay. Thank you. I hope you liked this video. If you like these, if you like the video, just hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button and the bell and you'll be notified when the next video is up. We'll be making more ephemera. Tags, journal cards, tall envelopes with tall tags, things of that sort. Okay, so thank you for coming and I'll see you soon. Bye.